another video and this time we're going to be using Excel more specifically I'm going to be trying to explain and show you functions in five minutes so I'm going to explain what they are how you use them and then show you the most common functions that you can jump into Excel and start using today so I'm going to be using Excel on Mac but this will work for any version of Excel you might be using so well, let's get started So firstly, what is a function? So a function is a preset formula that aids the user in performing mathematical and logical operations. So in basic terms, they're features that let you perform tasks such as adding together a large sum of numbers uh, quickly. So how many functions are there? Well, as you can see, there's quite a lot of functions that Excel actually has. Uh, there's actually around about 450 more than 450 in fact but don't worry because uh, we actually only need uh, a handful when we're using Excel particularly if you're just using Excel uh, for basic work so how do we go about creating a function so a function is actually created uh, using the equals sign so you select the cell that you want your uh, calculation to appear in you hit equals, you write the name of the function, open up a bracket, select the range of cells that you want this function to apply to, and then hit return or enter. So you can see here my function has added together all of the values in that row. Let's take a look at some of the basic functions that you can go and try first. So we'll start with the one you just saw me create, and that is the sum function. So this is the most common one that a lot of people use, and this is used to essentially add a range of cells together. So we're gonna hit equals, S-U-M, open up a bracket, and then I'm gonna select my column of cells here, which have my values in, and then I'm gonna hit return and that has added together all of the values in that column. Next, we're gonna take a look at average. So average will, yep, you guessed it, find the average of a range of cells. So again, we go equals, average, open a bracket, and then select the range of cells and hit return. So my average for this range of data here is 10.5 so one that I'm going to kind of put together are the max and min functions max will find the maximum value in a range of cells so we can see here it's found that the highest number I have is 20 and then min will do the opposite and find the minimum or smallest value in a range of cells which is one. Okay, I'm gonna go through two more functions in the last couple of minutes here. Count, it func the count function uh, essentially counts the cells that contain a numerical value. Okay, so if you've got a range of information and you're just trying to find how many of these cells actually have a number in them, then you can use the count function. And again, remember all our functions start with the equal sign, followed by the name of the function open a bracket, and then select the range of cells we want to use. So this now tells me that there are nine cells in my range that contain a numerical value. Lastly, we're gonna look at count A. So what if I wanna do what I just did, but it's not numerical, I just wanna know the cells in a range that actually have a value in them. Then we would go equals count A, open up a bracket and select our range of cells. And then this counts any cell that has any kind of value in it, whether it be numerical or text or anything else. So that was quick, fast, but hopefully in this five minutes, you have learned what functions are, how they work, how you can create them, and some of the basic ones that you can go away and create right now.
So I hope it's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.